if you have a website which is having more than one languages then you are wondering how you can create it then you are on the right video and this video will help you to set up your website in two different or more than one different languages in this case the level localization will help you and with that i'm your host Sarthak, and this is a channel where i talk about level and the cool thing about level so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe so let's start the video and you can see i have this navbar which having the text in english but suppose i want to create one more language like portuguese so i will say slash pt and whenever i say this i want this text to be in portuguese so firstly let's see how we can create this setup of the language so whenever i go to my project and if i go inside this config folder app folder you can see I have this locale as en that means English so we have to make changes every time we have some other language here so you can see I have this navbar the bootstrap CDN here and this navbar navbar welcome to bitfumes is here which is reflected here and I have created route for this so slash locale slash locale okay so now what I have to do Firstly, I have to change whatever I type here and I want to change my app or my project's language to that. So firstly, what I will do, I will give here slash as a lang which is not required and here I will get lang and equal to null because if I am not providing anything, null will be null. So I will give app colon colon set locale as my lang so l a g n l a n g okay close this line we are again returning the same view so go here and hit enter and yes but we can't see anything it's not giving any error so do one thing so let's echo out here our app locale so i will say config and inside app dot locale so go here and refresh and you can see now my app locale is pt but it's not reflected the portuguese word for welcome to bitfumes so again undo this so what i will do you can see inside resources folder i have this lang folder which is having en that means the english folder but i don't want that i want to create a new file which will be inside pt folder and that that uh, file name will be let's say header.php only php and we have to include the php tag here because it's a php file and this file will only return return an array which having the list of each and every string or each and every element you want to translate so let's say i have this welcome word which is going to have the value of the new portuguese version of this welcome to bitfume so i will go here and i don't know portuguese so i will use the translator and i will say welcome to to bitfumes and we have to include here portuguese also so portuguese is here copy this text and paste it here and let's go here and because we are using hard coded instead of that we want to include the double curly braces and inside parentheses we will provide firstly the file name because we have this pt because we have changed our locale of the app so it will now go to that file directly which we are providing here so file name is header so header and inside file name we have to give the string or the element we are going to get the value for so our element is welcome so welcome is good and now we have to do one thing because it's not simple string we have to include double underscore for saying blade that hey blade it's having 
translation value so go to the lang folder and search for these things so whenever i go to that page refresh and you can see now we have the portuguese version but i want to say here en let's say what happened it's it's echoing out the whole thing what what the problem is the problem is because now our app locale is en but it's not getting any header file inside this en folder so let's create that file also so i will say header.php and do the same thing for here but here i will provide one thing called simply welcome to bitfumes so welcome to bitfumes let's change it to php yes okay save this file go back refresh and yes we are having this welcome welcome to bitfumes and when i say here pt it's having portuguese version but what if someone has nothing here but you can see it's giving welcome to bitfumes so this is because let's open the config folder and app folder go to here locale is english that's okay but you can see fallback locale is en so if it is not found any locale for your um, for your project then it will go and search for that string inside the default the fallback locale which is english let's say i will give pt here so now i am not giving any locale here but when i refresh it's now giving the portuguese version because my fallback locale is pt so in this case so in this way we can change everything so let's change this contact us so i will say here contact us so copy this one and go to header and go to test.blade and instead of here i will provide simple under underscore and here header dot uh, contact i will simply say contact so so this name it doesn't matter in which language you are giving doesn't matter because we have to give the same name on our other files so here i have to give because it's an english folder so i will give contact us and the element name is contact same thing we have to give in the portuguese version and here i will say contact because it's now getting the same word for every language because this this is my default uh, word which in which i am coding so value is this so go back and refresh and yes you can see it's here now do one thing for french also so french and in french this is so i have to create one french folder here so instead of this i will create one fr slash header dot php and you can see everything is similar everything is exactly similar but the difference is inside this word we are giving here so it will be i have lost my clipboard copy here paste this and welcome to bitfumes we have to change it again so welcome to bitfumes in the french it says like this i don't know how to pronounce it and save go slash fr hit enter and you can see now everything you can see it's now in french okay so this is where we can use the localization and if you have any problem in this episode or anywhere please feel free to comment me you can message me on facebook twitter and instagram don't forget to subscribe and follow on these platforms we will meet in the next episode till then <laughs> goodbye